Hey guys, what do you think about the carbon cleaning on a diesel engine? So I have here Mitsubishi diesel engine, which is 4N14. That's fitted on a Mitsubishi ASX Outlanders. So this car here I got today, it's Mitsubishi ASX. So I'm going to perform a carbon clean on an inlet manifold and the EGR. Um, as you can see, I'm just removing the negative battery terminal as a precaution. So accessing to the inlet manifold, so it's under the fuel rail. So first I'm just um, removing all the electrical connectors and move it to a side. And there are heaps of nut and bolts so that you need to access. So I just remove the wiring bracket and carefully removing all the uh, vacuum lines. If you are not familiar with this, just put a mark which vacuum line where this goes. So there is a uh, EGR uh, cooler bypass solenoid and also there's a turbo boost well as well so I just removed the EGR pipe and now I had the access to the other components where the uh, where the inlet manifold is so that's one of the solenoids so here's the inlet manifold now that you can see so So once you remove the uh, thing, um, there are uh, two nuts on the top and uh, three 12 mil bolts on the bottom of the manifolds. You can you have access to the manifold that you can see. So here's how much it's blocked. Um, this car had the map map sensor hole blocked by carbon. So originally, what it was doing is um, losing power um, and uh, blowing smoke as well. So yes losing power can happen when the inlet manifold is blocked so now i'm gonna remove the egr valve just making sure there's no carbon and now i'm gonna do a bench test on the egr valve vacuum um, what do you call um, cooler bypass uh, valve because that's uh, one of the common issue that uh, on the mitsubishi egr valve so as you can see that the, the actual shaft is um, polished and scoring marks hopefully the valve is working so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use a hand uh, vacuum tool to make sure the uh, the valve is working prior to feedback As you can see, when I uh, pump up the um, creator vacuum, when I pump up the uh, the actual diaphragm, you can see the, the cooler bypass valve is moving. And also when I release it, it's moving backwards. So I'm making sure it's not um, stuck in, stuck open. So once I carry out those testing, I uh, did the clean on where the carbon are. So when you clean the uh, cylinder head side guys making sure I uh, use a vacuum cleaner or something to suck out all the carbon otherwise if you don't do that way there may be a possibility that big carbon pieces go into the valves and stuck on the valve and then you will have engine running rough or some other issues so hence why I use the vacuum cleaner to pull out all the carbon while you break them apart
I've seen on the market, like, there are lots of um, intake carbon clean through the throttle body that the chemical that you spray. So that helps somehow, but the proper way of doing this is remove and clean outside of the car on the bench. So that's, the, that's how much carbon it is on it was on that manifold. That's the outcome. So I've done the um, clean properly. So so it's time to put back all the parts together. So making sure the gasket is on the line, um, line up to the bolt holes properly. So the EGR is fitted correctly. Now I'm just installing the new um, inlet manifold gasket and installing the inlet manifold. Just installing all the nut and bolts, um, getting the car ready for start. So, and that's the EGR uh, bypass, sorry, EGR cooler bypass valve solenoid. And now I'm just installing the EGR um, pipe. It's a turbo boost solenoid. So once you install all the components back together, the, uh, the car will be ready to start. So just fit the throttle body back. It's ready to uh, crank up and see um, whether it's running perfectly or not. So as you can see, see so um, you will see sometime more carbon built up, but um, this car had um, some some amount of carbon. So thanks for watching. Hope this video helped you guys.